Hello friends, this is Pranay here and I welcome you back to my channel Holistic Health where we make videos to provide you information about simple health and lifestyle hacks. In case if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you are always aware of our latest videos. In this video, I am going to talk and discuss a very important concept called calorie. It is going to be a very short video so make sure you watch it till the end to reap maximum benefits. As you may know, in each of our video, we always focus on the why aspect of a concept so that you know it up front what's in it for you to listen or watch this video until the end. Now coming back to calorie, first and foremost, it is the most important element of an ideal diet. An ideal diet is the most successful mantra for longevity of life. Let us now understand the formula for ideal diet. Well, it comprises of two things right food choices and calorie intake. If you would have been following our videos, you would remember that we have already covered the first aspect of this formula in our previous video titled, Do You Know Your Food? In case if you have missed to watch it, I will provide the link in the video description. In this video, we will touch upon the second element which is calorie intake. So what is calorie? Well, calorie actually has two definitions. One is scientific and the other one is from a nutritional world standpoint. This is the scientific definition. It is the amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Too technical, right? Don't worry much about this. Our primary focus is to understand calorie from nutritional point of view. So what does the nutritional definition of calorie says? Simply stated, a calorie is a unit that is used to measure energy. In a nutritional sense, all types of food, whether they are dietary fats, proteins, carbohydrates or sugar are important sources of calories which human beings need to live and function. Our brain, muscles, every cell in our body requires energy to function in its optimal state. Everything that we drink or consume has calories. A key point that I want to highlight out here is the nutritional fact information that you see on a food package. It is actually mentioned in kilocalories or kcal or 1000 calories. So 1 kilocalorie is equal to 1000 calories. Sometimes the energy content of food is also expressed in something which is called as kilojoules or kj, a metric unit. 1 kilocalorie equals to 4.184 kj or kilojoules. So calorie on food package is 1000 times larger than the calories used in chemistry and physics. So for example, if I am referring to 1 gram of fat, Ideally, 1 gram of fat gives us 9 kilocalories in the nutritional world. The same 1 gram of fat will give us 9000 calories if it is represented in the scientific world. I hope that clears a lot of confusion between what is calorie, what is kilocalorie and what is kilojoules. Now let's understand one more concept related to calorie which is calorie balance. So friends, throughout the day, we are constantly consuming as well as burning calories, right? It is how effectively that we manage this balance determines our physical health. Our calorie intake comes from meals, drink, snacks and, the, and anything that we consume throughout the day. And the sources to burn these calories are exercise. It could be physical exercise like running, walking, jogging. It could be daily activities like household chores or it could be related to the energy that is being utilized by a body to perform its processes or to function. An important point to note here is at any given point in time, one can only be in one state of calorie balance, right? So that is very important and that's what we're going to focus in the next slide. There are essentially three states of calorie balance. Let us look at them one by one. So the first state is negative calorie balance state. Here in this state, the calories burned by an individual are more than the calories consumed by the individual throughout the day, right? So obviously the result of being in a negative calorie balance would be weight loss. The deficit or gap is bridged by the body by burning the stored energy. Hence this state always results into weight loss. So all of you who are looking to reduce some weight, you should 
target to be in a negative calorie balance state so in that will help you to definitely lose some of the weight the second state is neutral calorie balance state where your calories burned is, is exactly or more or less equal to calories consumed yes this state is possible uh, you would see a lot of our friends or relatives uh, we often say that uh, this guy has not changed at all in last 10 to 15 years the, the metabolism or the way those individuals maintain their calorie consumption and calorie burning is so accurate and so perfect that they neither gain too much weight or they neither lose too much weight the third and the final state is positive calorie balance state this state is ideal if your aim or target is to gain weight or increase some body mass uh, especially those who are bodybuilders or who are looking to put on some weight they should always target to have or be in a positive calorie balance state in this state your calories burned is less than your calories consumed so these extra calories they are stored in the body as glycogen in muscle or liver or as body fat so well this is it for this video hope you have found it helpful in the next video I'm going to cover the concept of TDEE which stands for total daily energy expenditure which exactly tells us how much calorie one must consume throughout the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your time. Till the time we meet next, stay healthy, stay fit. Thank you so much.